Welcome everybody, this is your boy Gerardo Matador and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. And welcome back everybody now before we do get straight into the video i would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this youtube channel now a big shout out to Weez g and z gaming so why don't you guys go inside my description below and go check them out and we're going to get straight into the video now this video is all about cyberpunk 2077 mod and the mod that i will be installing is the better optical camo and the requirements is cyber engine tweaks now if you guys haven't seen my video on how to install this make sure that you click up top okay and you'll see the tutorial click on that and watch that first before you do install this so make sure that you do have cyber engine tweaks next make sure that you do have native settings ui now this is new, so I'll be showing you guys how to install this as well. Now, to install this mod, okay, if you have been following my tutorials for Cyberpunk Gaming, then you guys know what to do. The first thing that you gotta do is go to your Cyberpunk CET game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Next, go to your Cyberpunk 2077 folder. Now let's begin. Now, the first thing that you got to do is go to your native settings folder, go to your bin folder, go to time 64, go to plugins, then go to sub engine tweaks, then go to mods. Next, go to your game folder, go to bin, then go to your time 64, CET, then go to plugins, then go to sub engine tweaks. Then go to mods and all you got to do is select this native settings folder and drag it inside your mods folder and that's all you got to do pretty easy okay now exit out of your native settings folder next go to your optical camo extract folder now you got a few things in here but open your core mod folder then go to your bin folder then go to time 64 then go to plugins then go to cyber engine tweaks then go to mods and now just select the better optical camera folder and drag it inside your mods folder now go back to your cyberpunk 2077 folder and then now go back to your go back right to the beginning right there now we are going to install the add-ons so go to the add-ons go to quick slots then you go to R6, then go to scripts, then now all you got to do is inside here go to R6, go to scripts, and now all you got to do is select this folder and drag it in here. And then that's all you guys got to do, and now the last thing is exit out of your extract folder, go back to your Cyberpunk 2077 folder, Right click refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are in the game, and my game did not crash. So, when you're in the game, okay, the first thing that you gotta do is press the escape button on your keyboard. Now, over here, we do have a new folder on your left hand side, and the folder is called Mods. So that is what the native settings does. It adds the mods or whatever uh, on your left hand side, okay? So to actually modify your optical camo, go to your mods, okay? And then now you can do this, okay? Now it's that your optical camo cooldown. You can make the cooldown 0 0.5 seconds or you can make it longer, it depends on you. Now infinite optical camo, you can just turn it on if you want to. And uh, the optical camera duration, you can make it like 45 seconds uh, or whatever, or you can make it longer, it's totally up to you. 
all you gotta do is just hover over it and now press D on your keyboard. D for double duck. Now once you've done that, then you're pretty much done. Now I don't have a stopwatch on me, so let's just count, okay? There you go. Now let's say one, two, three, oh well, that's a bit too fast. But yeah, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, and five. So 15 seconds is up and I'm still invisible. No one cannot see me. I think 120 seconds is one minute and 20 seconds. So yeah, it gives me one minute and 20 seconds of being invisible. Oh shoot, I just shot someone. Okay, never mind. They can see me now. <laughs> but yeah, the only problem is that if you shoot someone, then yeah, you will be detected. But yeah, there it goes. One minute and 20 seconds is up now. And now as you can see, remember what I said, 45 seconds was the cooldown time. But now it's only 0.5 seconds is the cooldown time. So here we go, you see? I can activate it and deactivate, activate, deactivate. I can just do that as many times as I like. And I really do like this mod, so I hope you guys do enjoy it. And we're back again, so I hope you guys did enjoy that mod. Now, like always, okay, I always say this at the end of my videos. If you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments. And I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or, if you do get stuck installing any other mods for GGAV or Cyberpunk 2077, they comment below and I'll be more than welcome to have you out on there as well. Unfortunately, I'm not active inside my YouTube comments, so I do have a Discord server. I'll leave my Discord server link inside my description below and make sure that you do verify the PC modding support, okay? So with that said, if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.